channel, please like and subscribe. In this video, I will be unboxing my PE 800 embroidery machine. If you want to learn what's inside the box, what comes with the machine, and how to set it up, please keep watching. The PE 800 has 138 built-in designs including scroll work, floral, and quilt patterns, 11 built-in fonts perfect for monogramming and lettering, built-in USB port, and a 5x7 embroidery field and comes with an embroidery foot and a 5x7 hoop. It also has a 3.2 inch LCD touchscreen with editing software built in so you can make and preview your patterns. The editing software is very easy to use and beginner friendly. This embroidery machine comes in a box like this and I'm going to open it up. Forgive my camera work, I'm, uh, I'm using my phone. So, Alright, so when you open it up you will see that it comes with white thread, 100% polyester, and it comes with a power cord, and here's the hoop and the grid that goes in the hoop. That's a 5x7, and there is the cover that you put on top of your machine, and there is a white pouch up on the top right that I forgot to grab. But that has all your bobbins and your other like screws and stuff to kind of adjust things if you need to adjust tensions or whatnot. If you take that out, there is a machine. I can't wait to set it up. Here's the embroidery unit that we're going to attach the hoop onto. And um, when I was filming this, I realized that the plastic was so loud, <laughs> so I decided to mute, and that's why you can't really hear the plastic. So I'm going to get the actual embroidery machine out that has the computer in it. And there it is. And that's what it looks like before it's all put together. So I'm just going to move this box out of the way. I'm in my bedroom, so there's not very much there's not very much room in here. Um, but this is where my embroidery machine is gonna live until I can have my own craft room. So I'm just gonna see if I can maneuver this plastic off of my machine real quick. Alright. Alright, there we go. Goodbye plastic. Okay. There's all these blue pieces of tape everywhere, and that's just um, to hold everything down while shipping. So here's a preview of the screen before I turn it on. And that flap I will open and show you what's inside once I get the blue tape off. I'm going to get the plastic off of this piece. And surprisingly, it's not that heavy. Um, I think it said that it was about 13.7 pounds. Not too bad. Okay, so I tried to do this with one hand and it didn't quite work. So um, my hubby came in and helped me <laughs> with my camera so I can push it in there. All right, there we go. So I'm able to push it in. It's super easy. And that's where it's going to live. And I'm just taking the hoop out and that's where the hoop attaches to the unit. And this is the grid. Hold on. Okay, so this is the grid that you determine. So if you're going to do a shirt or something or even like try to determine like the middle of a piece of cloth or some type of whatever you're working on. That's what you use. And I did register. I did register my machine. And there's a piece of foam here protecting the needle. And it does come with a needle already loaded in there. And you can't see the bobbin because it's a piece of paper. But I'll take all that out. Real quick, I wanted to show you the handle down here. 
So this is how you take it off. So I took it off and then um, I'm just gonna show you how easy it is. Bam, super easy. And then you go down here and if you wanna take it off, like if you wanna move it or something, then you can just take that off. Super easy. All right, there it is. And I did put the power cord on it. Here is the USB port where you can stick USB. And this does not come with a USB. You're gonna have to buy that separately. We're gonna turn it on. Beautiful. And the lights are bright. There's the screen. Very bright. Can't wait to use it. And it is a touch screen. Which is what I liked about it. Okay, so, okay, I've never used one of these before, so this will be interesting. <laughs> That's red. I'm guessing that just means that it's not ready to work with. Okay, touching it. All right, so here's this language selection. I'm just going to scroll through these. English, German, French. Italian, Dutch, Spanish, Japanese, that's cool, Danish, Norwegian, Finnish, Swedish, Portuguese, Polish, Czech, Romanian, Russian, Korean, cool, Turkish, and English. Since I'm English, I'm going to do English. Okay, raise the presser foot. The pressure foot is back here. It's this gray handle back here. Sorry for the angle. And it's going to raise your foot. Okay, the carriage of the embroidery unit will move. Keep your hands away from the carriage. Okay, hands are away from the carriage. And then press OK. And then it's going to move. I'm guessing it's just adjusting itself for the hoop. And it gives you some nice options here. We've got embroidery patterns. We've got lettering. We have frame stuff and a spot to save as well as the USB. So lots of access to stuff. Very cool. Okay, now this is uh, the inside of it where we put our thread in. Sorry about the lighting. I keep having to adjust it because the lighting in this room is not very good. Okay, so that's where you put your thread and that piece is very important to keep the tension. So don't lose that. I'm just going to grab this bobbin, or this bobbin, this spool, and stick it on here just for demonstration purposes, and that's how it goes on. And always make sure you put this little cap on. Sorry, adjusting the light again. Put the cap on to keep the tension, because that's important. Okay, so let's see here. To thread a bobbin, start there. One, two, three... Four. That's where you put your bobbin in to load the bobbin. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out. Okay, it's very similar to my brother sewing machine. So, oops, there we go. Okay, adjusting the light, make sure we can see here the numbers. Trying to find six, there's five. Okay, so. Sorry, adjusting the light again. Okay, we have one, two, threes down here, up to four, down to five, and then six is down here somewhere. Just adjusting the camera so you can see where six is. Can you see where six is? Okay, there's nine, eight, seven, Six is right there. It's a little hard to see. There's six right there. Got it. Six, seven, and then eight and nine. Eight is to cut, and nine is a thread. So we're, this is a, a threader, which is amazing. I wish my sewing machine had. I mean, my sewing machine has a threader, but not as nice as this one. So there's a threader, and that's how it works. So easy, I love it. I love how easy this is. Here is the thread that I will be using. It comes with 40 spools. It's called Bro Thread. It's 100% polyester. 
And here's just the box, and I'm going to open it up and show you what's inside. There's two layers of thread inside, so um, I'm just going to show you the top layer just because there's just so much thread, I don't want to mess with it. So here's all the colors, and I'm super excited to use them. Um, blue and purple and purple and pinks and blues. Check out in the description box below for the link to this particular machine as well as the thread that I use and some materials that I'm working with personally. Check out my next videos that are coming up. I will be making patch videos and showing you how I make patches. So stay tuned for that. And check out the cards up here for any tutorials that I've been doing as well as embroidery projects and tips and tricks for you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye!